boy play pass drug bow, drug bow. Star boy ball out, ball out. Hey, God, I'm sugar, love I. Hey, Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mercy and thank you so much for joining us. If you're new, welcome to the family girl. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload, okay? You literally never miss an upload, I promise you. Just click that bell right there, okay? All right, so today I filmed for you guys this look. As you can see, I love fall, I love drama, I love dramatic. As far as my hair is concerned, I love a very put together look. I love looking put together. Like even when I go out, this is like one of the looks that I always go for or a side hair down type of style. This, I like to look elegant and classy with my hair. So this is why I'm always going for this and also because I haven't figured out how to pluck my middle part yet because I'm scared and I don't want to ruin this most awesome wig. But other than that, everything about this look is going to be included in the video. I'm going to talk about everything I did. Of course, as always, all the products that I use are going to be in the description box. So make sure you check the description box. Literally, all the questions you have are always in the description box. I know you guys are waiting for my skincare routine. I got y'all. It's coming. If it's not before this video, I'm going to make sure I link it for y'all. But, but, it might also be up before this video so if it is i'm gonna link it up here let me tell myself i'm gonna link it up here for you guys as always you guys know i got y'all on anything and everything that's it i don't want to ramble i love you all so much thank you so much for all the love and support it's been overwhelming and i love you guys i can't thank you enough make sure you follow me on my instagram my snapchat twitter all my social media is going to be down below and that's it i love you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video hi guys okay so we're just gonna get right into it i'm using my la girl pro concealer to prime my eyelids and i didn't i had forgotten to put the tape so i just put it in there and then just blend that out nicely make sure that you don't set it i usually don't set it. it's a personal preference and then we're grabbing the festival palette by juvia's place and i'm grabbing that bright orange color there and i'm gonna place it in my outer v and I'm just gonna spread it out all over the outer V girl. Just bring it in and out using windshield wiper motions. Um, using very little product, just go back and forth on your palette and you know, saturate it to your liking. And then I'm grabbing the Suns Out Buns Out palette that I used in my other video and I'm just placing that orange again in there. I'm just creating dimension with these oranges to be honest. Um, yeah and now we're grabbing the saharan 2 by juvia's place as well and grabbing that deep berry shade and placing it on the other shades that we use and just blending those out just creating a really nice gradient there you know what i'm saying preparing for the black which we're going to use from the box of crayons palette and be careful because this black is really really black and you don't want to ever use too much black because black can take over a look really quickly so you just want to make sure you're using as little as possible and just building on it and blending it out there's a lot of blending in the looks that i've been doing so just take your time i know it seems like i just did it boom 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 but girl it took time to blend okay and now it's time to cut the crease i'm using my makeup revolution concealer in c5 this has been a favorite of mine for cutting my creases and it works so well and i again i don't set my concealer i set it with the foundation it works better that way because it just it pops more and i'm grabbing the purple in the box of crayons palette and i'm putting it in the middle and then grabbing that brush that i use to place the, br the black <laughs> and um, blending those together so there's no harsh demarcation lines. And then I'm also grabbing the white in the box of crayons palette. And again, just blending the colors together into each other, going back and forth with the different brushes we're using, making sure that there's no harsh lines in between the colors. And now it's time to put on the liner. I'm using the Rimmel London Eyeliner. I've had this for a while, but I've just never used it as much. I usually use my the one from The Balm. It's one of my favorites. But this one has become a favorite because the applicator is so easy to use. 
it's so black and it dries matte and it's just really good and it's drugstore so it works even better it's really cheap um so after that it's time to put on the glitter liner i'm using the one from nyx and these are kind of the worst liners on the market like they have the best colors but they're trash because the formula cracks so much and you guys are gonna see in a minute while i'm putting on foundation it's gonna start cracking like it's so annoying but yeah pop on your lashes i'm using coco lashes and goddess and now it's time to put on the foundation and just want to say yes this foundation is a little orange because it's my summer shade my skin hasn't seen the sun in a lot of months okay so it was looking a little oompa loompa-ish uh, girl no but it's okay that's why we don't stop at foundation we have to conceal and contour and everything like that so don't worry girl it's okay I'm here to save the day. I'm using, um, the, it's time to conceal now. I'm using my Born This Way Concealer and Chestnut. This is one of my favorite concealers. Oh my gosh. I need to stop using it too much because it's really expensive. But I mean, there's a lot of product in the, in, the, in the bottle. So it's fine, but still like it's expensive. So I need to make sure I'm not using too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, please, you guys have seen me do this millions of times. Just put it in the areas that you normally would conceal. And you see, it started cracking, so I had to fix it. But anyway, I wanted a little bit more brightness, so I used the ColourPop Concealer, No Filter Concealer in Dark 40 to do so. And as you can see, it's already bright, sis. Okay, just a little bit. You don't need a lot, just a little bit, because you don't want to be cake-faced, okay? And now it's time to contour. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Sculpting Stick in Ebony. And I want you guys to see the, the motion in which I do this. I usually bring it upwards. Like, make sure when you're um, blending out your contour, you're blending it out upwards, because you're trying to bring out your cheekbones. You want your the bottom of your face or underneath your cheekbones to be hollow, you're creating a shadow so you want to bring it upwards so that your cheekbones can pop out okay so make sure you when you're blending you're blending upwards and not downwards okay just a little tippy tip tip okay and then just like remove any creases that may have formed while you were contouring and now it's time to set i'm using my new favorite um setting powder this one's from ac cosmetics luscious by lynn girl this is my favorite powder right now like sasha buttercup who <laughs> Like, no, seriously, it's replaced my Sasha Buttercup. Like, no joke. I love this stuff so much. It doesn't leave, like, any... I mean, Sasha Buttercup didn't do anything bad for me. There was no flashback. But this stuff, whoo, girl, y'all need to get it. Um, so now it's time to set our contour. Anytime you use any type of cream or liquid on your face, you have to set it with some type of powder. So I'm just setting my contour here with my Juvia's Place um, Volume 1 Blush Palette. And now it's time to chisel out the cheekbones. This is another powder that I have from AC Cosmetics. This one's a little more warmer. Um, it's called, I think it's butternut squash color. I don't know. But I'm just using that to chisel out my cheekbones a little bit more here, as you can see. And then I'm brushing it through. Like, I did not let that sit for more than a minute. Not even, okay? And I'm just, like, using the rest of that powder on my face to bring everything together. And now I'm putting on a little bit of brush. <laughs> girl whew, a little bit of blush because i'm not using my cover girl ebony bronzer anymore so i might as well just use that it's the same thing and i like it better actually and this setting spray guys is so cheap it's from wet and wild and it shocked me because i was like wow like i think it has a little bit of glycerine so like there's this like natural shine that it gives like my face felt so moisturized and so nourish like i was like wow what is in this stuff it's really bomb and it's really affordable so i really like it and now we're just gonna do the same thing we did at the top to our bottom obviously our under eye I'm gonna make sure that i smoke that out um that's like one of my favorite things to do you guys know that so i'm just using the same colors from the same palettes you guys already saw um, and if you make a mistake and do too much, just take a foundation brush that you may have used with powder or with foundation, but just graze over that area. Don't like try to erase it because you're going to mess up your under eyes. So that's what I'm doing there. And then just grab your favorite blackest eyeliner. Mine is from Sigma. It's one of the blackest ones that I own. I love this one because it actually glides out like I don't have to sharpen it. So I really like that so bomb and then you're just gonna grab the black again and take a very defined brush or very flat brush and just like press that on your waterline and look at that look at the difference like whew. and now i'm just gonna prime my lower lashes with this uh primer from l'oreal i like to do this before i do my inner tear duct as you can see and i'm grabbing the saharan 2 to do that so while i'm doing that the primer is drying and then preparing myself to put on some mascara and i'm using maybelline to um 
total temptation mascara to do so so now it's time to highlight i'm using my contour Cision notebook from the crayon case and i'm using that shade right there it's called pink me i've never used a color like this so i was like a little bit worried because i didn't want it to look ashy but this stuff is so finely milled that it just like blended into my skin like it melted into my skin but i do have to say if you use too much it can start looking ashy so you have to be very careful in the way that you blend and how much you use because the last thing you want is to look ashy bruh like you don't want to look ashy sis i promise so blend, 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 and then grab another brush to blend that out as well. So I'm going to use two highlighters, obviously. I'm going to use this one and another one because you guys know I never leave the house without two, at least two, you know what I'm saying? And then this lipstick is from Lipland Cosmetics. It's the one with M. Reezy collaborated with them called Le Retrograde. I can't talk today. And then just put on a little bit more highlight and that's it. I love you guys. Come back soon. Love when you make me funny Love when nobody feels stop Take the love with a different style For your international loving yeah. Love when they make me happy Love when they cool my tempo Love with a different style uh, 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 uh.